here I am with Nicola, who's our bobsleigh world champion. Congratulations. Thank and you I very much. won a recent yeah. award. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it was a fantastic achievement. It was um, it felt that so many fantastic performances in, in Yorkshire, and to be honoured as the Yorkshire Sports Achiever was, was, yeah, it was really fantastic. But the big one that we want to talk about today, of course, is the Sports Personality of the Year Award that's coming here to the arena in Sheffield. Yeah. Now, there is a special part of the award, which is for the young son year. So, can you tell us why you're championing that cause? Um, I think, really, without those unsung heroes, without those people who are really going to back you up, it'd be impossible for any sports person to achieve at the highest levels. And my unsung hero, personally, has been a real advocate, advocate for the sport and really instrumental in my sporting career and you know those people do deserve the recognition and and the the success that that they get so tell us a little bit about your unsung hero my unsung hero um, was the person that kept me involved in the sport uh, when I went through a bad time a few years ago. He's been involved in the sport for well over 50 years, which is, is more than anybody in, in the entire country. And yeah, he's just been a real champion for the sport and, and a fantastic supporter of me and my team. So what would you say to other people who know of unsung heroes out there? Is it about coming forward and nominating? Yeah, it is. It's about recognising who's been supporting you all the way through and then coming forward and, and showing your appreciation and, and the recognition, giving them the recognition that they deserve. And with unsung heroes like the one who you're champion, then you can go on and be a world champion. I believe that's the World Cup. It is, yeah. This is, this is the World Cup that we achieved earlier this year. And it's, you know, it wouldn't, really wouldn't be possible, although there's only ever two people in the sled. There's a, a mountain of people that have really helped and supported me right through my sporting career, from being a young child all the way through to being world champion this year. And, yeah, if it wasn't for people like Bruce, for unsung heroes who got involved, then, yeah, it wouldn't be possible. Bruce, um, obviously you must be thrilled by what Nicola's achieved. Absolutely. It was the most wonderful uh, thing when she rang me from Lake Placid, New York State, in February to say she was world champion. And she rang me within an hour of winning it, which was fantastic. I was over the moon. And having put all that hours of working together where she is, she now wants to honour you and, and she's pretty new forward for, for an achievement. What, 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 how does that feel? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's amazing. I think it's exceptional and I, it's a great treat to be so, but I certainly didn't expect it. <laughs> Are you expecting to win? I, I doubt it. There must be an awful lot of people, but uh, of course if I did, I'd be absolutely thrilled. So what, what, what does life have for you now? I mean, are you still very actively involved in the bobsleigh team? I am. I'm, I'm trying to help Nicola and her team in every way that I possibly can. Uh, in my own home, we have a bobsleigh push start facility, which is at, uh, between Beedale and Ripon, called Camp Hill. And um, it, that, I think, has helped Nicola and her team quite considerably. That's where you learn to get in and push the thing as hard as you can for the first 50 metres. Uh, but as well as that, I, I talk to Nicola very often, um, try and advise her on some things if she has problems, act, I suppose you could say, in, almost in the way of a, of a father figure. That's what I try and do anyway. We've had some very mild winters recently. <laughs> We've not had all the snow that you need. Where do you train? How do you go about being a world champion? Oh, although when we're on ice, we do need to travel abroad. Um, actually, in Sheffield, there are some fantastic facilities, and I do all of my training at the Institute of Sport with my coach down there, all my gym work, my, my physical work, my mental work, and really, that just helps me be the world champion that we are and hopefully the Olympic champion next year. Uh, well, world bobsleighers change, like motor racing. I mean, if, we, if you look at Formula One motor racing and bobsleighing, which is the Formula One of winter sport, I think you'll, it's, it's a similar thing. They're faster, they are safer because bobsleighs have sides, which they didn't in my day. So if you turned over in my day, the best thing was to get out. Now it's the best thing to try and hide underneath, in, inside. Um, but, uh, but yes, no, it, it, it's, um, it's, it's going forward like all other, all other sports. The biggest difference of all is that in my day, it was an amateur-amateur sport, which you maybe did for three weeks or four weeks in the year. Now it is, it has to be said to be a professional sport because like Nicola, you have to train nine months of the year in order to be a top-class athlete as well as a, a, a top-class driver or, or brakeman of the bobsleigh. What, what, what were you involved in bobsleigh? Why did you become interested in the first um, For me, I'd been an, an athlete. I was a heptathlete for the previous ten years. And it was just, it, it was the draw, it was the, the kind of all the skills, the, the physical skills, the mental skills when I'm driving, the mechanical skills working on the sled. For me, it's the ultimate sport and, and the adrenaline as well. I, I absolutely love it. And yeah, I got a phone call to, to ask whether I wanted to come down and try out. And yeah, the rest is history. It's absolutely fantastic. So going forward, Nicola, what's the chances of getting the gold medal at the Winter 
potential in pace? We have every chance. We're, we're right now, we're, you know, we're, we're reigning world champions. We've had a fantastic summer. The, the team's coming together really, really well. The sled's as great as it can be, and, you know. On any given day, the Olympics is a unique event, but on any given day, we know we can win the event.